Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to A Lady in a Gent. Yes, I'm your cousin Ashley. And I'm your cousin Phil, aka Dino Brown right now. Yes! <laughs> giving us New Jack City vibes. You know. I'm looking for a new loctician, so just saying. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I my brother's keeper? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you gotta love New Jack City. But happy October! Uh, yes, my favorite season. I love the fall. I love the cooler temperatures. I'm I'm in a good place yes, right I'm now. I'm so glad the temperatures finally dropped down here in the south because it was too much. Mm -mm, sweating perm out. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but we hope you all are doing well. We hope everybody is, you know, in good spirits and all that jazz. So staying safe, staying healthy. Definitely. You know the holidays is about to come up, so. Mm -hmm. Let's go into it. Five pounds less because we're just going to gain. But we're not going to talk about that right now. No, no, we're not. <laughs> so we want to give a shout out to our cousin of the week. Who could that be? For this video. And this comment comes from Paper Doll Baby. Hey. Hello, hello. They say, I really love this video. I sub three minutes in to the video. Well, thank you. Now, that's love right there. We appreciate <clears throat> it. And if you want to be the next cousin of the day, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment, hashtag, post, uh, Jesus. This hashtag. <laughs> He's so excited. I know, right? <laughs> hashtag, hey, cousins. And I keep forgetting to mention this, but turn on those post notifications. That way you don't miss another video. Yes, because the family is growing and, you know, we want to know all the cousins out there. Yes, we do. So. What's on your mind? You look like you got a lot on your mind. <laughs> you know, if you, if you clicked on the video, then you know we're talking about the debates, our thoughts on it. So before we even get into that, I'm just going to preface, preface this video. Look, I'm excited too. Mm -hmm. Make sure you vote. That's key. I was going into a store and I was bombarded by someone that said, hey, are you interested to vote? You know, it only took not even 30 seconds and I yeah. made sure I registered. So go out, register, make sure you vote. Also, it is not <clears throat> illegal to do a mail-in vote. I requested a mail-in ballot because, you know, with the world the way it is, I can't take no chances standing in line, so. Hey, I'm going in harm with a can of Lysol, a mask, and everything. Yeah, I, I can't I'm find, old school. I'm listen, sorry. I can't even find Lysol. I just found uh, Clorox wipes, so... And, and Lysol wipes. I had, like, a great shopping loop. But that's not what this video is about. No. All we're saying is vote if you are of age. Mm -hmm, register mm -hmm. if you are not registered. Request a mail-in ballot if you do not want to go stand in lines. If you're state permitted, which I believe most of the states are due to the way of the world at this moment. Mm -hmm. But please, take care of your business and make sure you do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. You can, you can even register online to vote. It's like literally that simple. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I was just laying in my bed, living my best life, right? I was falling asleep and I get a text from <laughs> and, <laughs> and you wanna just you was like, oh my god, they are I don't know what and I was like, wait, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? And he was like the debates. I was like, oh my god. Yo, it was like a playground fight. It was Okay, first of all, when it started off when they came out, they were very cordial. Like, hey, hey man, how you doing? I missed all of that. It was like, hey man, how you doing? It was like, yeah, you ready to do this? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, first question. Well, first of all, it was like he said, first of all, F you. And <laughs> I was just like, huh? Oh, they was start early. Like 10 minutes in, they were ready. Yeah, I think by the time he texted me, I came in like 20 minutes in. And uh, <laughs> let me tell you, I know a lot of people been out here, and this is serious, but I got so much enjoyment. I don't know if it's because I was tired and I was falling asleep and it just woke me all the way up. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is what we doing. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. We, uh, oh, we really, are we going low? Oh, no, no, no. 
when they go low, you go to hell? I don't know. Like, it was just... <laughs> <laughs> All I know was somebody was either going to get hit by a microphone from the moderator or a certain president, you know, with a hairpiece. You know, I, I'm not for any political party, so I talk about any and everybody. Um, he, The way he held his pen, he looked like he was about to stab him in the throat. Mm -hmm. Like, um, former VP Biden, he was like, look, okay. you know, people not know who I'm talking I apologize, about. peoples. <laughs> but uh, Papa Joe... As some people call him, you know, he was—he had that look on his face, like if you keep talking about my son, and more times, not anymore, and more. He was good, cause he couldn't. That couldn't have been my child. He was talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm front of bronze. <laughs> if you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, we real, we could get real dirty. Um, so. Yeah, she threatened to stab me a few times. I, I'm making no qualms that I have done that. I, yeah. I'm not even peanut fed. I probably did say that. Yeah, <laughs> I learned not to eat her favorite candy anymore. Just, just don't do that. But it was, <laughs> you know, we could talk policy <clears throat> all day. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you brought this man's son into it, when your own children have benefited from nepotism, right? Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Except when you hold a public office. That's true. So, and it's actually against the law for the president to do it. It's actually against the law. Oops. So, <laughs> that was the thing. And then, like, everybody's been saying, for one, I noticed the president didn't mention any policy. I didn't happen to hear it. If y'all heard it, let me know what he said. I watched the beginning and the end. But I, didn't I never policy. heard any. We're, we're going to do a terrific job. We're going to do a great job. What is that? That's like, no, I don't know what that means. I mean, I guess, you know, with it being first debate, you know. Yeah, but this isn't their first time. Neither one of them. I'm pretty Romeo. sure, this like, they've done it before. <laughs> right. You did debates with Hillary Clinton last four years ago. Joe mm -hmm. Biden's done vice presidential <clears throat> debates. Mm -hmm. Y'all done debates. Y'all, I mean, I'm confused. Like, now, there were a couple of hot button issues that were avoided by both sides. Uh, on the Republican side, talking about um, white supremacists, and on the Democratic side, they were talking more about BLM, and both both gentlemen seem to kind of like, eh. No, no, no. Eh. As a president, you have to denounce white supremacy and racism. Like you, but he did white. Not. You have to. <laughs> like, there's just certain things you know you can't be political about. Mm-hmm. And it's one thing, like you said, you have an established politician as in Joe Biden, and you are now the establishment. I think that's what the president forgets. You ran on not being the establishment, but once you become a part of something, right, you are now the establishment. Yep. So that conversation no longer applies when you hold the office, you are now the establishment. Um, yeah, I just took it as entertainment, unfortunately, because there was no information being given. <laughs> like, none. I mean, you know, does that show Celebrity Deathmatch still come on? Oh, I remember that. That was a... That would have been perfect for that show. <laughs> it's like, It was just a hot mess. It's funny because my best friend, we were texting about it, too. And she was like, why my brother just texted me from Africa talking about... Yo, this is embarrassing. <laughs> like, he's not even American. And he was like, yo. From Africa? Yeah, he was in Africa. Mm -mm. And he was like, yo. I do funny accents, but out of respect, I'm not going to do that. But I'm pretty sure I knew what he was thinking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the um, the accent that he would have. But it was hilarious when she texted me. She was like, this is it's like four, it was like 4 a.m. there. Yeah, she was like, it's like, why is 4 a.m. My brother just texting me from Angola, saying like, this is embarrassing. Like, very. <laughs> it's not funny, but you know we can laugh at it now. But <sighs> beforehand, while watching it, I was, I mean, I was cracking up because you know, like we said, we didn't hear any policies going. No, no, no. Um, I mean, you kind of heard, oh, my plan is this, but yeah, it barely Biden came out. Yeah, had you know. plans that he tried to get him out, but when he told Trump, he's like, yo, dude, shut up, yo. I was <laughs> like, 
facts. Like, shut Man, up. He's like, this man's a clown. I'm like, wow. Yeah, that was... <laughs> And then people were like, oh, he shouldn't, like, this man disrespects everybody. So sometimes you gotta, you know when they say you have to, um, they hate when you do a you on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had to do a you on you. I mean, the petty in me would have, it wouldn't have been good. That's why I sit here and not. <laughs> I don't know. I probably would have forgot that tie would have came off. The jacket would have came off. <laughs> like, it's, come on, let's go. <laughs> it's just. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I like to, I would at least like a level of decorum, but people keep wanting this. It's like, I wouldn't go to my GP for dental work. At least they're both doctors, but I don't understand when people go, oh, well, we like them because they're not a politician <coughs> or they're not. No, there's a reason that they should be, right? There's a reason people should have certain career paths or trajectories or have had certain type of experience because <laughs> this is what happens when you, you don't get that when you don't get that it's just so once again I don't understand why and you know I'm a little follow politics a lot because it's just I'm a little nerdy that way um, she but wanted to be a been, political analyst I would like to be on The View one day. I'm just saying, like, I love it. But that is not what this is about. Mm -hmm. But I do enjoy Whoopi, it. call your girl. <laughs> call your girl. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, there, if you can follow the policies, you can look online to see what is being introduced. The fact that they're trying to push the Supreme Court nominee so close to an election is just extremely shady. We all, Very. I mean, even when they blocked Obama, like I said, it was nine months before the election. So mm -hmm. if that argument was valid then, but not now because the Republican leads the Senate, I mean, I guess, but once again, you have to follow the policies. Her policies are not, I'm not here for them. Once again, she's only been a judge for two years, two or three years, like. Uh, I don't think that's enough time, especially like what kind of court were you presiding over? Was it like small claims court or what, you know? Yeah, it, it she's like, she's young, which is okay, relatively young compared to the other justices. But I mean, I'm not against Changing the justice rule. I don't think the Supreme Court nominee, um, the Supreme Court justices should be there for a lifetime. I think we need to change that. I think our society has evolved. We're educated. Everybody mm -hmm. at least has an elementary school education. Uh, maybe even middle school. I don't know. We start dropping out high school. So for the most part, we have at least an eighth grade education, which is. Mm -hmm what most reading levels are based off of. So I, I'm not against revisiting. I mean, I do it, but I'm kind of busy right now. You are, you are you booked and busy. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's just, yeah. And then the fact that the president kept making fun of Joe Biden <clears throat> for wearing a mask and then what, what happened two days later? What goes around, baby, comes around. Man and the first lady tested positive for COVID. Now, before I left the house to come and film, um, I saw in the news that he was being transported to Walter Reed. Oh. Now, he was trying to be his stubborn self and say he was going to walk out, but with him, from what they were reporting, he was running a fever. First of all, you're um, the president of the United States. What, where are you walking out of by yourself? Like, <laughs> once again, stop this. Stop, stop. Stop. He still thinks he's a, a regular citizen. Like he's <laughs> like he rode the subways in the city or something. <laughs> no, man, no. Oh my goodness. Well, we wish them well. We wish them, you know, hopefully their symptoms aren't that bad. I don't know, you know, but we wish them well and that they yeah. get better. Now I've seen a lot of, you know, conspiracies like, mm, do they really got this? <laughs> Or is this just a way, um, a scheme that Todd set up so that 
They don't have to do the debates, which we're <laughs> fine with them not doing the debates. I'm actually very excited to watch the vice presidential debates because I think that'll be a good one. We know Pence can talk, as in he has um, decorum, mm -hmm. and I'm sure he, he he's just not going to interject unnecessarily. And I've seen Kamala on the Senate floor reading. Yes, I said it, but she's she, she's much more eloquent. Um, so I think that'll actually be that will be informative. One to watch. Yeah, um, but it was funny, and then I, <laughs> let me tell you, the internet always wins. They was like, yo, ask her McKay how he's doing. I said, y'all is wrong for this. Y'all is wrong. Well, I'm going to say it like this. Republican, Democrat, whatever. I wouldn't wish COVID or anything on my worst enemy. And a lot of people call that man a clown anyway. But. I mean, everybody has. I've known people who had it. So yeah. it's, it's, it's varying in your symptoms. But it's real, right? It's not mm -hmm. fictitious. It's not fake news. It is a real thing. You need to take it seriously. You need to take the necessary precautions. So we do wish him speedy recovery. If it's true or not, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't know if it's, you know, it is what it is. They're reporting it. Hey, we wish you all the best. Yeah. We wish you a speedy recovery. But just know this does not <clears throat> stop the election from occurring on November 3rd. That's right. So make sure you vote. And. I think that's all we got to say about that. Yeah, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh, you know, trying to just have a lighthearted moment because ugh, we all know this is very serious. But I mean, if they didn't take it serious, who would we to take it serious? That's true. So y'all already know what to do. Once again, like and comment and subscribe. Y'all comment, we read them. I'd be like one o'clock in the morning and I hear my phone business and it'd be like a comment. I'm like, oh wow, mm -hmm. y'all are busy. I'm like, well, you know, I am trying to get some sleep here. <laughs> have a day job. We do. But we thank you for tuning in and we will catch you next time. Later cousins. Have a good day, night. Just have a good one. <laughs>